I'm going to show you boys exactly how to gain weight the easy way. The quickest and easiest way to put on weight when you're a skinny guy, you're naturally lean and you really struggle to put on muscle in the gym and really gain any weight or mass. The reason I'm making this video is because just recently with work, travel, training martial arts, I've lost seven kilos. So it's been on my mind that I don't like being smaller. I want to get that weight back. What's the quickest and easiest way to do it? And I've started putting the weight back on. I'm going to run you through my exact meal plan, the tips and tricks that I use, absolutely everything everything you need to gain the weight as quickly as possible. So if you're a hard gainer, you struggle with this stuff, this is 100% the video for you. Before we get into it, if you need an accountability partner, if you wanna boost your testosterone, if you wanna be in a group of like-minded young men, all on self-improvement, Gorilla Tribe is in the link below. But let's get into the video. The reason this is important is because being a super skinny guy is not fun. It's good to be lean and strong, that's absolutely fine, but being actually underweight, being skinny and, and feeling that way, feeling like a twig, feeling, feeling not great about yourself, is probably not what you're aiming for. So this is a guide to help you pack on the muscle that you need just to be happy with the way that your body looks. I think either being fat or skinny is majorly mental. It's all psychology. There's one that's wired towards over-consuming, eating way too many calories, being constantly hungry for one reason or another. And one is wired towards consuming far too little. You're just not eating. Maybe you're not hungry, maybe you forget, maybe you're too busy. For whatever reason, Reason you're not consuming enough calories. Now, the most common thing I hear skinny guys say is, I'm already eating so much, I just can't seem to gain weight. I'm, I'm eating a pizza every day. If you ate loads, if you were eating too much, then you would be fat and you'd gain the weight. So stop making excuses, you're not eating enough, you're gonna have to eat some more. And the good thing is, if you eat more calories than you burn, you will get heavier. You just need to find out how many calories that is so that you actually gain weight. Because at the moment, you probably think you're eating a lot and it's just not as much as you're expending. That's literally your only problem. You've got a fairly fast metabolism. Your appetite doesn't quite catch up with it. You're staying skinny. It's a very simple problem to fix. You're gonna need scales. You're gonna need a basal metabolic rate calculator. You can get them online for free. Just type that exact word in and you will find one. Figure out your active daily calories. Then you do your basal metabolic rate calculation plus your active calories for your daily expenditure. So if your basal metabolic rate, how much calories you burn just being you, sitting around doing your work without activity is 2,000, you do another one, one and a half thousand in daily calorie burn, you got three and a half thousand daily expenditure. You are going to have to eat more than three and a half thousand calories to gain any weight, very, very simple. Now, this is my exact meal plan. You don't have to follow it. This is just what I am doing at the moment. What I have access to, this is what I'm eating on a regular basis. This is helping me gain weight. I need 4,400 calories a day to gain weight sustainably. So not too many calories, so I'm not adding on excess fat, but to build lean muscle slowly but surely gain weight. So I'm having steak, 200 gram ribeye, four eggs, 200 grams of rice, about 1,100 calories. I'm having that twice a day, once in the morning, once for dinner. I'm having two banana protein pancakes, about 300 calories in the morning as well. Lunch is 250 gram chicken breast and broccoli, 200 gram rice, 800 calories. Snacks throughout the day, pistachios, mango, protein shakes, cheese, I love cheese. Cheese is so good because it's so highly dense in calories. Cheese will just give you a huge boost in calories if you just eat a nice little block of cheese daily. It's got some nice proteins in there as well. Really, really great. Pistachios are the same. Great before bed. Healthy fats, melatonin will help you go to sleep. Really, really good stuff. Protein shakes, obviously not the best in the world, but sometimes, boys, you just got to get the calories in. Now, don't be afraid if you need to, to add a bit of extra stuff in there to go overboard on those calories if you've really struggled with gaining weight. So if you need to add a little burger in there, chicken burger, or you need to add some fries or whatever, do it, all right? When you're trying to gain this weight for the first time, if you're actually skinny, you're actually underweight, you can do anything, you can try anything. It's not gonna be a long-term fix, but it will get that weight on in the first place. So really, don't be too careful what you eat. Just keep eating. Just make sure you're eating, eating, eating. And you just keep eating. And then after you've finished eating, just go back and do a bit more eating. And then when you've, when you've stopped eating and then you've had a rest, you've gone gym, just do a bit more eating then. And then before bed, bit more eating, wake up in the night, bit of eating. You'll be fine. But Jake, I don't know what to eat. I don't know how many one has good calories. Here you go. So you can stop complaining. High calorie snacks. Cheese, as I just mentioned, very fucking good. It's brilliant. Delicious and high calorie. Nuts. I can only have pistachios. I'm allergic to all the others, but you can knock yourself out. Go for as many nuts as you want. Nut butters, almond butter, peanut butter. Goes well in shakes. Olive oil. Very, very good. Put some olive oil on your rice. Put some olive oil on your food. Can add a lot of calories in there. 
avocado, very highly dense in calories, add it in on your breakfast, and liquid calories, so any shake smoothies. Put together a couple of bananas, some milk, some peanut butter in a shake, bang, 500, 600 calories, just like that. Drink a couple of them a day. So simple stuff, boys. You just gotta be disciplined, as with everything. Now, I think the most important part of all of this, like it's all good me saying this to you, but if you don't track it and plan it into your day, you're just gonna end up forgetting to eat. You're not gonna be hungry all the time. We both know you don't have the appetite to consistently eat. That's why you are struggling to put on weight. So we're gonna to have to overcome that by using a tracking app. My Fitness Pal is the best one. Just track your calories for the first couple of weeks, boys. Take the extra time, get it done, tally them up throughout the day. That's one of your main goals of the day is how many calories have I eaten? Yes, I ticked them all off. Fantastic. Set timers and meal plans. So you've got a timer that goes off in the morning to tell you to eat. You've got a timer that tells you to have a snack. You've got your timer that tells you to have a lunch, so on and so forth. You've just got it scheduled in so you can't miss a meal. You plan it all beforehand. You make all your meals. You have everything ready to go. This is how you gain weight. You, you probably forget to eat at the moment. Same as me. Very, very important, boys. Schedule that stuff in. Get it pre-planned and have timers in place so that you wake up out of whatever you're doing and get the food in your mouth. Here's just a side note. If you pair high calories with high testosterone, you're going to have a very easy time creating muscle but because it makes you more anabolic so it's a lot easier to utilize the extra calories to create muscle mass whereas if you're low testosterone at the moment and you start eating a huge amount of calories you may add more fat because you're not as anabolic so you're not going to have the same ability to create muscle if you want to boost your testosterone quickly and naturally you don't want to take any steroids click the link below join the course trip your testosterone pair it with your bulk pair it with the increased calories and you're gonna see huge results in terms of muscle mass. Now, a common objection to eating a lot, to bulking, to having all this food going in is you don't wanna feel sluggish in your work day and this is one of the major things I think about. I wanna be sharp, I don't wanna be sluggish, I don't have that carb crash, I don't want any of that. So the way to get around this, if you can, and this is what I do, is I mix fasting and bulking. So I wake up 7 a.m., fast until 12, couple of coffees in that space, get all my work done, everything that I needed brain power for on that fast, that, that morning sort of power that you get, all work done in the morning, as soon as it goes afternoon, it's feast time. You've got meals scheduled in and you go in gym. That's all you're doing. Obviously, if you're working different jobs, you'll have to fit that in differently, but I'd recommend you fast in the mornings, get your major work done that needs brain power, leave your feasting, all the food that you need to get in for more of the afternoon, if you struggle with feeling sluggish when you bolt. Now, some of you is slow eaters. And it's okay. You was probably told when you were younger that being a slow eater was good. That you, when you wolf your food down, you were being rude. But unfortunately, a lot of you will be eating too slowly. And that's why you're, you're not putting the weight on because you're not finishing your meals. You're getting full too quickly. And the reason why you eat slowly, you watch a bit of something, you do something on your laptop, you eat a bit more. Oh, I feel full now. Oh, I've got all this food left. Reason why your belly's full. Your belly's, the, the food's gone into your belly. Your belly's told your brain, we don't need any more food. We've got food now. We're going to digest it. Stop eating. If you eat fast, so what I recommend doing is putting a, an eating timer on where you don't do anything else, watch anything else. You actually just put a five minute timer and you eat your food in that time and you time yourself. You'll get the food all in off your plate before it hits your belly. So that means your belly's not going to tell your brain you're full. So you're going to be able to finish your whole meal. So eat quick, obviously not ideal, but you've got to do it because whatever you're doing now, it's not working. What? Good lad. And here's a bonus top tip for you. Cut out caffeine. Caffeine is why I get skinny. It's why I lose weight because I can have some strong coffee and I can happily not eat for the day. Two days. Literally, I don't need to eat much at all and the weight comes off me like that. However, you take the caffeine away and I'm hungry. I'm ravenously hungry all day for some reason without that appetite suppressant. So if you're really struggling to get your meals in, I would recommend that you cut caffeine out throughout the day. That's really gonna help boost your appetite. And if you're trying to lose weight, retrospectively, start drinking more coffee because it is gonna suppress your appetite. So there you go, boys. That is the exact guide that you need to put on weight, to eat more daily. That's every tip that I use. Good luck with your bulking, boys. Use those tips. I hope to help you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Woo-pow!